Kubuntu 1710, which is codenamed Artful Aardvark, is an interim release of Kubuntu, which is supported for nine months, up until June 2018. Ubuntu is dropping the 32-bit ISO of their build, however there is no word on Kubuntu doing the same, and at time of recording, which is a few days prior to final release, the 32-bit version of Kubuntu is most certainly available. Under the hood, Kubuntu is using the Linux kernel 4.13.0, and while I'm here, I'll check the memory usage, and it is a rather paltry 433 meg of RAM. Not bad for the KDE desktop. It is now using the KDE Plasma desktop version 5.10.5, .5, having narrowly missed out on the 5.11 release. The previous version of Kubuntu 17.04 used the Plasma 5.9.4 desktop. There have been a few new features added to the desktop, which I'll come on to later in the video. In terms of changes to the pre-installed applications, we now have the Moon Package Manager, as well as Discover. Moon Package Manager is kind of like a KDE-specific version of Synaptic. I mean more in the look and feel and functionality of it, comparing it to Synaptic. But they have also provided the Discover Software Center, so you do have a nice glossy interface for installing new applications and doing the updates. VLC has replaced Dragon the Media Player. I think that is fair enough because the same changes occurred on KD Neon and you know, I've not been bothered at all by that. If you want Dragon Player, you can easily install it. Cantata has replaced Amarok, which has become unmaintained and still uses KD4. We have an option here of multi-user or single user. For most people, it will be the single user setup. So we'll have a quick look through this to see what it looks like. So yeah, the folder I'll be using is the default here, my home folder slash music. Do we want to download anything? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll just leave it at that. Leave it as default. Cantata is now configured. Configuration mode, blah, blah, blah. Warning you are not currently a member of the users group. Cantata will function better, saving album covers with correct permissions. If you add yourself, you will need to log out and log back in for this to take effect. Okay, well, we'll just go for it and see what happens. So yeah, it's picked up a few albums which I have on my music folder. They got the album artwork. Uh, no, which is weird because that does have album artwork. Okay, I haven't looked at this music player enough, but um, I'm going to leave it for now. Maybe I'll take a look at it more in future. But I have to admit right now I'll be keeping with Clementine. So that covers the major application changes. One feature to notice on the desktop is that folder view is enabled by default. That change did occur in the previous version of Kubuntu 17.04, even though it was not the default in the Plasma 5.9 desktop. Taking a quick look through the applications, and I can't really see anything much else that is different. So yeah, same old stuff that you had before, which yeah. it does have most of the applications that you would like on a system. Perhaps there are a few specifics you don't really like, maybe like Firefox or LibreOffice, but it's not really too many to change. And talking about LibreOffice, we do have version 5.4.1. There were quite a few changes to the Plasma desktop, but I'll run through a couple of them. For example, KRunner. It will now suggest applications that you can install through the software center. For example, a search for Quake brings up Open Arena and a few other applications which I could install. Under the volume control, there is now a menu for changing the sound output. So you could change to headphones or another output if your device supports it. The lock screen allows you to pause and play music. There were some under the hood improvements made to Wayland, and with the scaling on multiple displays. Although I think with the scaling, we'll expect more changes on the Plasma 5.11 desktop. They were more under the hood and in the background at this point. And there was an overall improvement on translation updates and bug fixes. So is this worth upgrading from Kubuntu 17.04? Yes, it certainly is. Well, you're going to have to anyway because that was an interim release. Is it worth upgrading from the long term support release of Kubuntu 16.04? Yes, most certainly. The Plasma 5.5 .5 desktop in Kubuntu 16.04 was not particularly good, and it has improved drastically as development has progressed with it. In fact, I'm very tempted to replace KD Neon with Kubuntu 17.04, purely because I've got newer hardware, and it would be good to go back to the canonical maintained kernels, rather than using the mainline PPA. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.